Steak for Supper from the Pippolo Seed and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss. Let me just adjust that right there. Okay. Steak for Supper. When I'm all by myself and there isn't a crowd, I guess that I sometimes get thinking out loud. And I guess I was talking while steering my feet on the way home from supper down Mulberry Street. And I must have been thinking about what I would eat, cause I shouted out loud and with all of my might that we always have steak every Saturday night. My father had warned me, don't babble, don't bray, for you never can tell who might hear what you say. My father had warned me, boy, button your lip. And I guess that I should have, I made a bad slip. Cause the minute I said we had steak for our meal, I noticed an Ica behind at my heel. And that Ica was trailing me home for a bite of the steak that we had every Saturday night. There's the Ica. I got sort of worried. Our steaks are quite small and we had none to spare for that Ica at all. Then I got really worried. The next thing I knew that Ica was talking and babbling too. That Ica was waving his wing at a Gritch. Come on, he was calling. They're terribly rich. They've plenty of steak and they'll cook it just right because they always have steak every Saturday night. Then the Gritch started giving the come along sign, inviting a Grickle to get in the line. Join up, called the Gritch, for I'm sure they'll be able to set one more place at their dining room table. And I got a Gritch and a Grickle to feed. My mother, I knew, would be angry indeed. And I groaned and I knew that I hadn't been bright when I bragged we had steak every Saturday night. What's he gonna tell his parents? And then, then, the Grickle called out to a nupper. They always have steak for their Saturday supper. Good gracious, I gasped. How the news gets around and steak's so expensive, a dollar a pound. A nupper for supper, a gritch and a grickle, and also an Ica. Oh boy, what a pickle. I shivered. I wondered what father would do when I walked in the house with that terrible crew. When father said them, there's a very good chance that I'd likely get wailed on the seat of my pants. And I guess if I did, it would serve me quite right because I blabbed we had steak every Saturday night. And the very next second I groaned, oh God, grief. When the nepper called out to a pair of wild weef, come on you wild weef, what a party we'll make. For Saturday supper, they always have steak. What a mess, two wild weef and a nupper, an Ica, a gritch and a grickle. I'd never felt sicker. I knew that the minute I walked through that door, my mother would faint and my father would roar and tomorrow they'd send me to one of those schools where they'd try to train boys how to not act like fools. I reached for the doorknob and trembled with fright, all because I said steak every Saturday night. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. He's in for it. I opened the door. Then I stepped with a sniff. I smelled what was cooking. I took a big whiff. The Ica stopped also and sniffed at that smell. And so did the weef and the nupper as well. The gritch and the grickle, they stopped and sniffed too. And the moment we sniffed it, we all of us knew. And that stuff that we sniffed wasn't steak, it was stew. The butcher who sent it had made a mistake for Saturday supper, 
supper we didn't have steak. Just stew? Gulp, gulp to the gurgle. Just stew, poo, I say. If they only have stew, I don't think I will stay. Stew, they all snorted out loud in disgust. And they all disappeared in a big cloud of dust. What luck I stood safe all alone in the hall. My mother and dad hadn't seen them at all. And from that night to this, I never made slips. I don't talk when I walk because I've buttoned my lips. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's ever made that mistake again.